Hi everyone, welcome back to our project build workshops. Today we're going to be continuing with our Photoshop tutorials and we're actually going to be creating a cool backdrop wall for our photo booth design. So let's get started. I've got my page set up and ready to create my backdrop walls for the photo booth. I've set up my page using the same measurements and details like in the last tutorial. The only difference is that this time I went with the transparent background. As you can see on the side here, I've already created some layers. I have three open right now, one is the background and the other two are for the photo booth model and backdrop design. You can hide and show layers by clicking the eye icon beside the layer title. Once again, I've brought in the screenshot of my photo booth sketchup model. I'm using the rectangle marquee tool, magic wand, and eraser tools to remove the background of our image, just like we did last week. When I use the rectangle marquee tool, I'm making sure that I also distort the rectangle to make sure that it fits in on all the angles of our photo booth. You'll notice here that I'm changing the label titles for our layers. This just allows us to keep things organized and quickly see which layers are which. You can also click on this folder icon to create groups for our layers. I'm going to group our backdrop designs together. Groups allow layers to move together, but you still are able to expand the group and edit specific layers within it. Having groups and layers in your Photoshop project will really help to keep things organized, especially when you have many components and layers within a project. Now let's move on to the backdrop design. I'm going to hide the photo booth model by clicking the eye icon to the left of the layer label. This helps me focus on just the design of the backdrop. But before I do that, I'm going to use the photo booth model as a reference for how large I should make the rectangle I'll be using for my backdrop. I'm using the rectangle tool and making it approximately the same size as the wall on our model. After I've done that, I'm going to use the rectangle marquee tool and replicate the same rectangle to ensure that anything I paint stays within the rectangle and doesn't go past the lines. For our photo booth design, we intended each corner to have a different backdrop design. In this image that we have of our SketchUp model, we can only see two of the corners, so we're just going to design two today. The first design I'm actually going to create from scratch. Using a combination of the brush and mixer brush tools, along with the dodge and burn tools, I'm going to create an intergalactic space background. Our build team thought that the design would work well with the holes that we would need to perforate the walls to let wind through. This part's supposed to be fun, so play around with all the different colors you can use as well as the different brushes and tools to create different effects and textures. I've chosen to go with purples and blues for our space-themed wall. I'm also making sure that when I use the brush tools, I'm changing the size as well as the opacity and the softness of the brush so that it can create different effects and mix the colors in better. Once I'm happy with the look of the backdrop, I'm going to place it onto our photo booth. I'm going to make the photo booth model visible again by clicking the eye icon and then dragging the space backdrop layer onto the photo booth. From there, I'm going to click the edit button and press transform. Then I'm going to click distort and get the lines of our backdrop to line up with our photo booth model. Since the space backdrop covers the entire corner, I'm going to make a copy of this layer and cover the other side of this corner. I'm going to go through the same steps of transforming and distorting the layer so that it lines up with the photo booth model. And there we have our first design done. We're going to rename the layers again just to keep things organized and then move on to our next design, which is going to be even simpler to create. Our build team thought that having a green living wall could be a fun and engaging backdrop for our photo booth. So I just went online to find an image of a leafy green background and I'll plug it into our model. From here, we'll run through the same steps as last time. We'll go to edit, transform, and distort the image to fit onto our photo booth wall. And there we have our backdrop walls done. From here, we can save the image and plug it into our rendering. Thank you all for tuning in to today's tutorial. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Also, if you create your own backdrop design, we'd love to see it. Send it our way by tagging us in a post or using the hashtag build online. We're actually going to be creating an online platform for Corner Commons this year, and we'd love to display your backdrop designs on there for people to use. We'll see you in the next video, which is actually going to be our last video. But in the meantime, hope you all are doing well and staying safe, and we'll see you in the next one.